Hello, everybody, and welcome to our April edition and final edition of In Conversation for the 2021 Juvenus Festival. So if you're watching this, it'll likely be um, on on Friday, April 23rd, which means that we are less than a week away from the festival starting. Um, so we do have our opening event at 8, 7, 8 p.m. Hmm, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> it's at 7 p.m. on April 28th. Um, so please tune into that. But um, we wanted to take this in conversation today um, and talk about all of the different ways you can get involved. So we'll go through all different art forms and hopefully something will pique your interest. So if you know you're really interested in a certain medium, um, we'll let you know what we have to offer for that. So um, Kate, do you wanna start us off to let us know about um, any theater opportunities? Yeah, okay. So we have a bit going on here for theater. So in terms of performances, we have a Launch Point Academy performance. So that's children 13 and under. And they did this during their April break superhero camp. And then we also have True North, which is a radio drama about hockey, and that'll be airing on CFRC. And we also have for workshops, intro to improv and clown and juggling as well. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so I think I'll I'll go now and I'll look I'll let you know a little bit more about musical theater. So the ones that Kate mentioned um, are mostly theater based, um, but there's also a lot of musical theater opportunities. So if you're interested in watching musical theater, um, we have the High School Musical Cabaret. Um, so if you're used to Blue Canoes Cabarets, this is our, our next one and it should be really fun. Um, and then we also have a screening of Last Five Years, which was the show that was supposed to be is supposed to take place in last year's festival, um, but it it didn't, but it took place in the fall. And so um, it's a live performance that was um, that was filmed um, and we'll be screening that on Wednesday, May 5th. Um, and then if you're interested in doing a workshop, um, we have a workshop on musical theater audition technique, which is offered by the New York Conservatory. And for music, the New York Conservatory is also offering a vocal technique and healthy singing workshop. And then for music, we also have recording vocals and instruments and also a songwriting workshop too. And then for performances, we have Juvenus Jams, which will be on Friday, May 7th. And that's basically a few local artists are gonna be performing for us. And we also have Viva Voce as well. So that's just our um, kind of coffee shop type event and that's going to be on CFRC as well. Yeah and so Viva Voce definitely has lots of songs. It's about storytelling and voices so um, there's also some poetry involved in that and so if you're interested in any type of writing or poetry um, other events you can check out are Rising Solitude um, and so we'll be having our virtual uh, Juvenus Art Gallery and part of that is the Rising Solitude Project who did workshops for the past uh, four months um, doing uh, poetry and visual arts on different topics. Um, so poetry will be involved in that one. Um, and then there's also the Time Anthology, which is going to be a, um, a published book that you'll be able to buy um, of, of works made by people in the community. Um, and it has, um, they'll be doing a reading event um, on Zoom. And you can go in and tune in and ask questions and, and hear what the thought process was behind everything. So that should be really fun. Um, but if you're interested in doing it yourself, um, for the workshops we have available are intuitive writing um, and spoken word 101. All right, and then visual arts. So Rising Solitude has some writing and poetry, but it also has elements of visual art because during those workshops, they did a bit of both. So you can check that out on our online gallery. And then for workshops, we have the Agnes, which is offering an art hive workshop and another one called Do Art Be Wonderful. And then we also have embroidery, DIY mini magazines and cookie decorating. Yeah, so we've we expanded our definition of visual arts a little bit, but there's <laughs> definitely some really cool stuff to check out there. Um, and just a little note, the cookie decorating, um, you'll be making Mother's Day um, or like cookie bouquets, and they're really great for Mother's Day. Um, the workshop is happening on the Friday before the Mother's Day, which is on the Sunday. So if you don't, you're not sure what to get your mom, 
this is a really good option. <laughs> um, so next dance. Um, so our, our dance highlight is Young Works. Um, they will be doing a dance performance on Friday, April 30th on our YouTube channel at seven o'clock. Um, and they're all original works. Um, I'm very excited to see that one. Um, but for in terms of workshops, um, you can try out Hawaiian hula dancing. Um, we, there's also a um, vignette and movement based workshop that um, is being offered by um, youth to Kingston well, youth to KFLNA. Um, so that should be really fun. Um, and then there's also um, improvisation and ecstatic dance. So, you know, you want to um, just really get into the groove, feel the movement. Um, that's a really fun one to check out, too. All right, and next up is film. So we have the KFO Makers Challenge. So the Kingston Film Office is going to first be doing some workshops on um, how to make films and using different software, stuff like that. And then basically you can participate in the Makers Challenge, which will be putting together a film using um, one of those techniques you learned. And then there's gonna be a showcase at the end and you can sign up for that on our website right now. And then the New York Conservatory is also offering a film and TV audition technique workshop. And as part of our Arts Career Expo, there's gonna be a Real Canada talk as well. Yeah, so um, that brings us into our last one here. So just professional development opportunities. So I, I would say all skill builders can be professional development opportunities, um, but these are more focused on just kind of the, like, not necessarily creating the art, but supporting your creation of the art. And so as Kate mentioned, we have art, the Arts Career Expo, um, which will be on Sunday. There's a uh, a talk with working culture. Um, there's going to be a panel discussion and there's lots of opportunities for networking, um, looking at post-secondary opportunities. Um, it's it's very casual. You just come in, you just um, you check it out. You'll, you just learn, you can explore what you want to. If you know you're not interested in something specific, you don't have to, you don't have to do that. Um, so it's really just open, just if you have any inkling that you might wanna pursue a career in the arts. Um, and then also there's um, the New York Conservatory will be holding auditions on May from May 3rd to May 5th. Um, so you can sign up on the link on our website. Um, they are auditioning for their summer intensive program as well as their film and TV and uh, musical theater program. So this is a school in New York City um, and they're very nice. So <laughs> if you're interested in pursuing any of those programs, that's a really great opportunity. Um, and then we also have two workshops. Um, one is personal branding as a creative and the other one is business 101 as a creative. So if you are a, are a creative, if you're an artist and you want to really um, pursue that professionally, these are really good ones to help um, get you started or to get a better understanding of how all that works. So anyways, that was our crazy run through um, of the festival. But in case you didn't catch all that, Kate, can you tell us a little bit more about what you would do, what you would recommend to someone who doesn't know where to start. <laughs> yes. Okay. So head on to our website, www.juvenistfestival.ca. And then when you're on our website, you can click under the Juvenus 21 tab. There's one that says festival schedule. That is super helpful. It has all the events laid out and a schedule so that you can just at least see what you can do and what fits within your schedule. And then if you want more information on skill builders, or for instance, again, under that 2021 tab, there's a skill builders link. So you can click that and it has a list of all of them. And also under that tab, there's like the Arts Career Expo, Connections, KFO Maker Challenge, all that. And you can also click our Get Involved tab as well, which just has some other opportunities like the New York Conservatory auditions. So definitely check out our website. Yes, the website has a ton. I would say the main tabs to click on are definitely the festival schedule. Yes, Kate. <laughs> um, but um, if you're looking for more specific things, I, we've been working really hard to be able to get 
all the information on there as possible. So there's lots of indiv individual pages for all of the projects and workshops. So yes, main tabs to check out are skill builders um, and our projects. Um, and then under that, you'll see different pages for some of the other events like the KFO Maker Challenge, Arts Career Expo, um, stuff like that. And then registration for everything has is linked on the website as well. So a lot of things require registration, um, but it's all free and it's <laughs> um and yeah it's it's just a couple questions just so we know kind of how many people are coming but um yeah so just make sure that you register beforehand um but it shouldn't be too hard so yeah um okay I, I think that's all for today. We wanted to keep this one short and sweet, um, but we are so, so excited about the festival. Oh, here, I can show you. Here's our posters. So look at that. Juvenus 2021 happening starting April 28th. You see right there? There we go. And then the opening event, 7 p.m. Make sure to tune in on the Blue Canoe YouTube channel. Um, most of the events are happening either on Zoom or on the Blue Canoe YouTube channel. Um, and then there's a few on CFRC. Um, so there's lots of ways. They should be pretty easy to access. Um, so yes, April 28th, tune in, come check in with us again um, and hear about all kinds of, all the stuff that we've been working on. I hope that you participate in the festival and um, we have our closing event on May 8th at eight o'clock as well. So um, yeah, oh, oh, there was some other stuff too, Kate. Um, there, we'll be doing a Juvenus Passport. So um, you can, with, based on, there's certain check marks. So if you um, do kind of like two workshops, um, all the all the stuff will be on the passport. Um, but if you complete the certain tasks, um, then you'll be entered into a draw to win a really cool prize. And so that's a really good way to get involved with the festival. Um, I don't know, there's so much going on guys. So definitely check it out. If you have any questions about where to get started um, or just about the festival in general, make sure to leave it in the comments and we'll get back to you. Um, so yeah, I'll, anything you wanna say, Kate? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're interested in merch too, you can go on our website. We'll be selling some hoodies, t-shirts, hats, stickers as well. And all the money from those sales just go back towards next year's festival. So that will be on our website. Excellent point. Yes. All right. Well, thank you everyone for listening and we hope to see you at the festival. All right. Bye.